Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving, I don't know what to call this equation, exponential logarithmic, both a mixture, maybe a non-standard equation. But anyways, whatever that is, we're going to solve this equation. So we have e to the power x equals ln x over log x. We've done a similar problem. We're going to use a similar idea here. I don't want to spoil that yet. But we have this interesting equation that kind of contains the, both the exponential function and the logarithmic function. And not only just logarithmic function, but to two different bases, e and 10. Natural log and uh, I think the other one is called common logarithm, base 10. All right, so I'll be presenting two methods, but trust me, this is going to be a very short video, even though I'm going to go over two methods. So for our first method, for our first method, we're going to use a formula called change of base. Now change of base uh, is a very important formula with uh, in logarithms because it really allows you to simplify complicated things. And here's how it works. If you have something like log of let's say x uh, with base b and you want to turn it into another base, usually we use either ln or uh, log, which makes a lot of sense. I use ln very commonly. So we can write this as ln x over ln b. Notice that x goes here and b goes here. It just works. How do you prove that? Set it equal to something and you can easily prove it. Very, very easy proof. Like set this equal to a and then from here solve for x. Set this equal to a and solve for x and you're going to get the same answer. Interesting, right? Okay, so change of base is what we're going to use. Now, we have ln x over log x. And this should kind of call for change of base because I have the ratio of two logarithms. They have different bases, but their arguments are the same. What does argument mean? Well, the argument is dx. Okay, great. So they are different logs. So how do I use change of base? Well, pick on one of the logarithms. I, since I like ln, I'm going to pick on base 10 and change it into the other one. Since uh, you can change from, you know, to any base, uh, you can turn the log to an ln. That's basically the whole idea. So here's how it works. Log x, so I'm going to use the formula here before uh, I get into this. So how can you use, um, how can you write log x using ln, right? So the whole idea is we have a 10 here, which is not usually written, base 10, uh, because we use the decimal system. So using our formula from here, we can write this as ln x over ln 10. You see where the x goes and where the 10 goes. Since a 10 is not written, a lot of times people don't see these things, but it's very important to be able to see them. So that's why the 10 is invisible, but if you want to write it, that's fine. So log x, and I'm going to erase it because it kind of bugs me. I don't know why, but when it's not there, it looks better. Anyways, log x can be written as ln x over ln 10. And do not forget, ln 10 is constant. Awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at this equation from that perspective. How does this help us, right? This formula is going to help us a great deal because now we can go ahead and replace log x with ln x over ln 10. Let's do it. ln x over log x can be written as ln x over ln x over ln 10. And when you flip and multiply, ln x is going to cancel out and you're going to end up with ln 10. So this variable looking expression is not actually a variable. It is a constant. Yeah. Okay. It's a constant in this guise. So we have now e to the power x equals this, which is ln 10. And this equation is very easy to solve. Just ln both sides. We ln a lot. ln e to the x equals ln ln 10. And then from here, x moves to the front and x becomes ln ln 10. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method. The second method involves the following. We have e to the power x equals ln x over log x. Let's go ahead and set log x equal to u. Now this means x because the base is 10 by using definition of logs, x becomes 10 to the power u and ln x becomes ln 10 to the power u which is u ln 10. So ln x is u ln 10 and log x is u. Why don't you substitute? 
Okay. U substitution plays an important role in a lot of different places, including integrals. So from here, we get the following, e to the power x. I'm going to replace ln x with u ln 10, and I'm going to replace log x with u only, and the u cancels out, and I end up with pretty much the same result, not the pretty much, the exact same result, and we get e to the power x equals ln 10. Now, how do you proceed? Well, you just ln both sides one more time, and you get the result. And it's kind of like ln of ln something. And x becomes ln ln 10. All right? We're going to look at the graph now and see what the graph looks like. So, here's my graph of y equals ln x over log x, the green line. It's not a curve, by the way, because as you know, it is a constant. And y equals e to the power x. Great. So anyways, uh, this hopefully makes sense. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.